How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to our playthrough for Jurassic World Evolution. Now, uh, today we're going to be continuing on the first world, and uh, yeah, in the last episode we added a carnivore pen, and then actually we have a quest right now to make two, or sorry, photograph two ceratosauruses. Uh, I only have one right now, so I think we should probably try and make another one as well. Uh, this might end badly, though. I don't think these guys are gonna like being around each other too much, but we got the money to do so, so let's experiment a little bit, shall we? I mean, the worst case scenario, these guys are gonna fight, and, uh, the people love it when the dinosaurs fight. What are these guys running for? Holy crap! Everything okay? Okay, I, th I think they're just running to get it out of the rain or something. I don't know. These guys are clearly on a mission to go see the Ceratosaurus, though, so that's good. Let's let them do that. Let's waste no time, get back into it, and uh, try and do as much as we can in this episode. So, as always, we're going to have to do a lot of expeditions to get more of those dinosaur genomes. I don't really know what I want right now. The Dracorex would be good, or the Dracorex. I don't know. You, you guys will tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. That's for damn sure anyways. But yeah, I kind of want to start working on that guy. We don't have anything else unlocked. So yeah, let's go Let's go and work on Triceratops and Dracorex for right now. Because uh, I want to have the perfect Triceratops. I'm always going to have a Triceratops in my park because I love them so much. So we may as well focus on that. That. Now, looking at the dinosaur vitals, let's see what we got going on here. Everybody seems extremely happy right now. This is rare in this game. This is fun. So, yeah, we have all very happy dinosaurs. Uh, that means nothing bad should happen, and uh, we can focus on doing a lot of quests today. Uh, I want to get this park done so we can move on to the more difficult parks because this one's cool, don't get me wrong, but uh, the ones later on get pretty damn crazy. Now, let's actually see what research that we got going on here. Uh, we do have one new medical treatment, genetic research, we're always going to want to be doing that. Um, but what I want to focus on right now is building upgrades. These things really help quite a bit. And we can do things like scheduling. So um, I kind of want to just prepare ahead of time. You know, these dinosaurs are not always going to be perfect little angels. And we want to make sure we have the defenses to deal with them when they do get a little bit rowdy. So I'm going to allow ACU helicopter scheduling. That will allow him to do more than one thing at a time, uh, which will be really, really good. I think we can research two things at once. So we're also going to do scheduling for our ranger teams. Oh, I guess we don't have uh, the two spots. You don't have enough build research teams. Okay, so I guess we unlock... I don't know when we unlock a research team, but I guess you can unlock three, so that's pretty cool. All right, but quests are the lifeblood of this game, so uh, let's go finish up this one quest. We need to apply improved output 1.0 upgrade to a small power station. That will give us uh, some more power, obviously. I don't remember how much more. Okay, increases power stations by 14%, introduces a 5% risk of a power outage, though. So basically, we're overclocking our power uh, stations, and that could end in bad things, but... Sure uh, this one, but... You proved me wrong. I did prove you wrong, but we got 125 grand for doing it, so it is definitely worth it. Now, we got to do the whole photo shoot thing, but I'm waiting for the Ceratosaurus for that. That thing's actually almost done, so perfect. Let's go check our fossils. By the time we're done that, it should be ready to go. And look at that. We got a Dracorex high-quality amber. Uh, that's going to get a lot of the uh, genome right there, so that's good. And it looks like amphibian fossils. Okay, it's just free stuff to sell. Nothing wrong with that. And look at that. Just like I said, he's ready to be released. And let's actually not waste any time. We've seen the introduction of that guy. Because I'm going to get in this thing before these guys start fighting each other. Because I think they are not going to like each other too much. I mean, they're, 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 they're not going to be friendly brothers or anything. Did I put a gate on this? I hope I put a gate on this. I don't even know where I did it. It's been a little while since I last played, and I want to apologize for that. I know it's been like a week. So, uh, you know what? Let's just put a gate right here. I don't think I put a gate on it. There are distinctive spines that run down its back. Okay, so we're going to pay 77 grand for a gate, and then we're going to drive the vehicle once again. Sorry for talking over you, Cabot Finch, but I got a lot going on right now. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? Okay, so they're actually not attacking each other yet. I need to get two in one photograph. So we're gonna go on this side and there we go. Let's just walk in the water. And where's the other guy? Is he right behind him? Yes, there he is. There we go. And is this worth? Yes, I think I only needed 5,000. Cool there we photo. go, two for one, right Did there. Or maybe I didn't get both done. I need to photograph this two Ceratosaurus. So, oh, oh. I wonder if I need to do one and then another, unless, there we go, photograph, no, nope, it didn't let me do that, okay, well, I'm not sure why I'm not doing this other quest, I did have both of them in my photo, but, maybe it wants two photos of each, 
I mean, at least we're getting some money here, so it's not like it's a bad thing, but I'm very confused on why this quest is not working. I will say these guys are moving around a lot more. I don't think they're very happy. They're yelling a lot, too. It could be me just bothering them, but I'm thinking they're not too happy that they have to share the enclosure. Okay, come on, guys. This has got to be two. I don't know what to do if I can't- There we go! Jesus, I don't know what was wrong with the other pictures, but it didn't like it. So I just want to address the voices. I am going to talk over those guys a lot because they pop up literally every 30 seconds. So I'm trying to edit them out the best I can, uh, but sometimes they're going to be talking to me, and I'm just going to do my best to ignore them because they talk literally all the time. It gets a little bit frustrating, I'll be totally honest. Let's go back to this one. That, that one gave us a good yield, so I'm going to continue doing that so we can get the Dracorix down. And uh, let's actually check and make sure these guys... Oh, they're actually cool. I didn't expect that. I thought they would be very angry with a social population, but it seems like we're at the end of the social scale, so they're just happy with two of them. We don't need any more than that. Hell, maybe they'll breed. No, they, they can't breed. I think it's it, in Jurassic World, every dinosaur is female, isn't it? That's their whole shtick to not make shit hit the fans, but it always hits the fans anyways. But uh, yeah. All right, so now we kind of addressed everything that we had currently going on, so I guess now we have three million. We can do some other things. I think I might put another enclosure. Well, I kind of put this fast food station here. Uh, would have been a perfect area for enclosure in between these um, roads here, but uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. We're getting 174 grand profit per minute, so I think at this point we might just want to work on uh, our island rating so we can move on to the next island, which unlocks at three stars. So we're actually almost there. So let's do these contracts, try and make people happy, and see if we can unlock the second world, because that would be pretty damn cool. And just for funsies, let's add some more uh, dinosaurs to our enclosure here. I'm going to get a Struthiomimus colony going on. I, th I think it will be fun to do that. They're nice and cheap. We don't have to worry about them eating, uh, you know, our residents, because you do get sued if they do get eaten. So... We don't want too much of that happening. We got a lot of people coming in here. Let's actually see what else we can do for the guests here. Now, we could go crazy and do a hotel, but I don't think, well, will it be worth it? It's going to cost a lot. I don't even know how much it costs, but I know it's a lot of money. We're getting kind of tight for space in here. There's, I mean, there's still lots of space on this world, but I think I kind of want to do this. Let's put a hotel down. I just want to make sure it's not a crazy amount of money. I think they're about a million. Um... Okay, we we'll gotta perform another successful dig. I will accept that. Okay, it's 750,000, that's not crazy. And we're gonna put that right there. So the hotel will allow people to stay here and it should, I think it helps with uh, the population. If there's an overpopulation in your park, the hotel will work with that. Uh, we got some fossils though, let's go and see. All right, nothing too crazy this time. We'll start extracting those and selling that. And the Hell Creek was actually the one we were already going to. So we already did that quest just by, uh, going to it. That, that's just luck right there. It asked for it, and we were already on out on the expedition. So, another quest done. Our Struthiomimuses are ready to be released. Let's see uh, how crazy we can go with these Struthiomimuses. I'm gonna keep incubating them, and we'll see if we can get, like, an overpopulation going on or something. Everyone's really happy right now, though, so look at these guys. Ah, oh, looks like they're having some sort of meeting or something, and they are talking to each other if you listen. I love it. I love that they're actually socializing. Oh, it's so great. There we go. The hotel is now opened for business, and... Oh, I think we just unlocked the other island by doing that. There we go. Isla Murta. Here we come. All right, so if you don't know how this game works, you have to go throughout islands. You start off at the easiest island, and they get more and more progressively difficult. This island in the middle here, this is a sandbox island, and we can unlock that. That's where I think I'll focus on making the most amazing park we possibly can, because unfortunately with these islands, I think it's kind of a cool mechanic, but you do lose your progress, or at least it feels like you lose your progress. Uh, so a lot of these islands, we're going to, you know, work through them and try and unlock the harder islands, but the main source of where we're going to build is on this sandbox island here, which we will do. Well, maybe we won't even do the sandbox. Maybe we'll do the final island. I don't know. We'll see how we feel, because sandbox, you get unlimited money, so it feels like it's kind of cheating. But our next island on the list, which we'll be going to right now, is Isla Murta. This one has tropical storms, ranger team in ACU management, which we have here, but I guess technically we unlocked it, uh, and dangerous diseases. So we're starting to get into 
uh, where the game's going to give us some challenges. So, of course, I'm excited about that. We are going to go to that island and uh, say goodbye to our first island. It was a fun few episodes, but now it's gone. We didn't even get to experience the hotel that much. But obviously, as we play throughout this game, we'll see it more and more. All right, and here we are. As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island, Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events, you know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. Sounds fun. All right. Well, As here we see, are. The weather on this island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. I see that. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, I need to drive the vehicle? And don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they? Yeah, that must have been quite the storm. And it seems that bad weather is often a precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of hmm, toppling dominoes it. leading to rampaging dinosaurs. Don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them. All right, so as you can see, we start off in this one in kind of a shit show. It's uh, storming out. I need to repair everything. I, the, our, our whole grid is offline, so I have to manually do things as well. So I'm trying to find these things. The map is not the easiest way uh, thing to find all these, but it uh, looks like we got a broken gate over here, so we're going to repair that. Uh, you can follow this around, though, and we should be able to get things all set up so I can... Uh, yeah, not have chaos in this park. We are losing money right now, so my, my biggest goal is to fix everything, and then we can start worrying about earning some money. We've got two million right now, so it's nothing too crazy. I don't know where this other repair is. Let's go down here and see if there's any other repairs. I don't think there is. It looks like I just have a... Well, you can see at the top, I have one broken building and three broken power lines. I believe that's what the other one is. Oh, did I totally miss it right at the front? Yes, I did. So we have a broken power line here or substation. Uh, so there we go. I think I addressed the power issue. Therefore, I can tell this thing what to do. Now, what is this? I don't actually know. Uh, oh, emergency shelter. So the alarm was activated for the emergency shelter, which we have on this island already. So this is just a place for the residents to go when storms do come. All right, so our first storm is set and gone, and uh, let's see what we got to work with here. So we have a power station, a storm defense station, so that's good, as we are going to be getting lots of storms. We already have the ranger station, um, and we have two enclosures here that are connected with this safe zone in the middle. I actually really like this. Um, we might actually keep this very similar to what it is and build upon it. Uh, one thing we're gonna need is ACU helicopter. I will try and get that as quickly as possible. Are we profiting yet? No, we're still actually losing 15,000 per minute. So we probably want to put the important stuff down right away. That way, if we do go into the red, at least we'll have them down and they can't take them away. So we're gonna do the ACU center. And we want this nice and close to our enclosures because the closer we are, the faster they can respond. So we're gonna put this guy... Uh, if I can fit it in here, that would be great. Let's see if we can get it. Because it looks like it's not touching the side, but it's getting terrain constraints, so it's too bumpy. So I guess we'll just have to do it like that. All right, so I'm very serious about dinosaur safety. So all, what I usually do first is the security. Uh, I know that's not as fun as just letting the di dinosaurs go crazy, but it truly can ruin your experience. Benefit being, we don't have any dinosaurs right now, so that's how we probably should start earning some money. So we have two enclosures. This kind of works out for us. We can do a predator cage and a herbivore cage for right now. I think I'll start doing some of the bigger dinosaurs now that we're on a new world. So we're losing money. Let's stop losing money. We're going to do herbivores over here. We'll do a triceratops for right now. Can we modify the genome at all yet? Let's maybe, ooh, we can maybe color it. Yes, okay, so this is where you get pretty crazy in this game, when you want to modify genomes and uh, cater to the park. So, for example, you can see the rating down here. This is basically how much of a demand this dinosaur will have in your park. When we up it and have the new uh, arid pattern gene, arid pattern gene, sorry, I can't talk, uh, it ups the rating, but the viability goes down, so it has a bigger chance of failing. So, we're gonna do that. I wanna keep this dinosaur pretty. We also have a few other things. What do we have? Tooth hardness. I don't know if I really wanna deal with that just yet. Again, we don't have uh, too much safety nets in the park just yet, especially when it comes to the fences. Skin toughness? That might be pretty cool. Does that up the rating at all? 
Not enough to make it worth it, in my opinion. So, for right now, we're just going to change the color of the dinosaur. And he's going to be an arid pattern. So, we're going to incubate that. They, they cost more, by the way, when you do uh, play with their genes. And I guess we'll do two of those for right now. Because Triceratops, like I said in the past, are awesome. Let's also... Oh, that's not the um, Expedition Center. We don't have an Expedition Center. That's right. So, we are going to need an Expedition Center. Let's actually see what we're totally working with here. How much area do I have? Okay, so I have all this area over here. I might build my Expedition Center kind of that way. Uh, because we have this road right here. And I want to keep it out of the way of the actual park uh, viewers. Because there's no sense for them to see that. That's part of what I do. This is... Freaking roads are... I didn't realize how, much, how expensive roads are, though. So, we're just going to build... We're going to spend a small fortune and build a road down here, I guess. Just to uh, allow anything that doesn't have to do with our visitors down here. So, Expedition Center is very important. We're going to need a Fossil Center with that as well, though, to extract our fossils. So, we'll put those side by side and get that done right away. All right, and there we go. Got it done. And how much money do we got? Okay, so we are running out of money, as you can see. So, this is when it gets important to start earning some money. Which is, we probably should have got some quests already. I, I, I keep forgetting about the contracts, as they're called. So let's request a new contract. Again, we're back at zero with the new island, so uh, I guess we'll go with entertainment again. Uh, acquire at least 60% of the Ankylosaurus. Do I even have the Ankylosaurus unlocked? Well, we are at a new island, and I think that unlocks new dinosaurs, so this is exciting too. Um, but we need to get these guys out as quickly as possible. Looks like they're ready to go. Perfect. That's going to get some residents in here, and hopefully we can actually start earning some money. So we're just going to release these guys real quick, and let's see what they look like. So, yeah, you can see, definitely looks a little bit different. I definitely wouldn't come to this park just to see a little dusty-covered dinosaur, though. But if that keeps the residents happy, then that's what's important. So here we go. Let's actually make sure we got everything they want here. There's a little bit of trees. These really aren't big cages, though, so I really got to be careful when it comes to uh, overpopulating them. They are happy though, there's a, the right amount of forest, the, there's lots of grasslands, and they seem to be doing quite well. So, we'll let them do that. We should at least start getting some residents in the park now. Hopefully they're walking in already. Uh, it's so weird that the, it, the, the actual introduction to the park is so far away from the enclosures. But, we can put gift shops and stuff all the way down this road and keep them happy. Alright, well, we're gonna need a substation for our two stations over here, so let's do that next and get some power to that so we can get on an expedition as quickly as possible. The more expeditions we do, the more money we earn. And we are running out of money, so expeditions cost money, so let's see what we unlocked. Alright, so we got the Dracorex. Corythosaurus, Struthiomimus, these are all things we've already... Well, the Corythosaurus is something new, right? Uh, we needed the Ankylosaurus, so we already got that down there, and we got a nice mix of stuff. Let's go around the world, see what else we've unlocked. Uh, Diplophosaurus, that's another meat eater. Or, sorry, Dil Dilophosaurus. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get these all wrong, so feel free to hate me in the comments, but I'm doing my best, damn it. I am doing my best. So it looks like we only have one zone with, for the Ankylosaurus. And I want to get that quest done, so we're going to go for that right now, and that should unlock two anyways. You don't have enough available dig teams. What? Oh, we're already moving to Hell Creek. I must have just habit... No, we're not. We're not moving to Hell Creek game. It's... It, the, the, the helicopter's right here. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Hell Creek, guys. I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm assuming we left the other world on an expedition, and it went to this world as an expedition, so I guess we'll wait for that. I'm kind of curious to see if a helicopter lands on the other helicopter. All right, we got some fossils, but no helicopter came in. So, you know what? I'm not going to complain because uh, we need these fossils. Now, I'm not going... Well, we're at, I think we're actually profiting now, so we should be able to do this. Yes, we are. Look at that. Already, I have addressed the issues, and we are indeed profiting. So, let's go and get that Ankylosaurus so we can uh, do the genome. We need 60% of the genome, so we're going to do a lot of expeditions to get that done. So, we're still having a power issue. What am I... Is this not powered? Why would they not power? Okay, that's my fault. I put the ACU center up and I forgot, but the actual ranger station, no wonder why I had to manually use it. It has no freaking power. Okay, so we, well, it should, unless it's just out of range. Let's actually see, before I put this substation down, are we over using our power system? So where's this, there it is right there. Uh, what did it say? We have, we still have five unused power, so it should be good. So I guess we have to put another substation right beside this. It looks like it's just out of range. Which, no, because there's freaking, it's right in there. What the hell? 
Well, let's just try this and see what happens. We're going to put a substation. Maybe we have to enclose it in the uh, circle. We, I, I definitely know I didn't do that when I was playing earlier, though, so I don't know. Anyways, we'll put a substation here, see what happens with that, and... Uh, oh, we our expedition's done. Now, this should... Oh, man, I'm so confused. Did, did this shut off or something? So what I'm going to do, just because we're already almost maxed out our system... Oh, I don't even have enough money for a small power station. Uh, let's go to our fossils then, see if we can get enough money to do that. Because I feel like, well, we're going to have a, a, a power issue very soon anyways. And if we can sell... Oh, that's not what I was hoping for. We got Ankylosaurus and Corythosaurus. So we didn't have anything that we can sell. So let's just go out on another expedition and we'll have to wait for a little bit of money. I don't want to waste those fossils because they're actually quite good. All right, and looking at my... Uh, oh, we're, we have a lack of food for my dinosaurs. He should eat soon and that should go up as long as we have food in here. Do we have food? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I feel like a major jerk right now. We do not have a food enclosure for this guy. I thought if the cages were set up, the food would have been set up, but clearly I was wrong on that. So it's a good thing I checked these guys out, because they could have been very mad very, very quickly. But looking at their population and social, they want some more residents, so... Oh, oh, he's running over! Okay, I, th I think he was very hungry, and, uh, you know, I just basically gave him a delicious steak, or the uh, herbivore equ equivalent of a delicious steak. Check it out, him munching on that thing. So, they want some more, uh, friends, so they'll be comfortable with a couple more, so I'm going to... Damn it! I can't believe I spent that much money. Okay, so I'm going to make some more Triceratops, though, because the more we have, the happier the people are in this park. But I'm doing too many things at once, obviously. We have to address our power first, because if we have the Ranger Station and ACU Center up, it's a lot more safe in this park. Okay, and finally, we got some Osmium, which, uh, put us over the 500 grand mark, so, um... I'm not going to extract the DNA yet, because this is going to uh, basically make us broke. So like I said, I could up the power station if I want, and uh, basically make it uh, at a risk of shutting down. Don't really want to do that though, so what I'm going to do is get another power station here. And do we want to put it side by side, just because they're nice and close together? Problem being, we got some crazy hills over here, as you can see, and I was able to get it for a second, but it's kind of off the beaten path. So what I think I'll do is actually put it over... Well, how far can we go down here? Holy crap! I didn't realize we had all this extra freaking space! Wow, this is actually a big world. So I don't want to close the possibility off of building this way. I don't think we'll need that space, but uh, obviously it'd be good to have this. So we want this around the storm um, things, because if a storm happens, anything within a radius is prote protected around that storm. So I'm going to put this side by side. I think this is a good, the best spot for it. And uh, we're going to connect all this together, because if we open this up... Ah, it's going to storm explain it. Well, I don't really care. Please don't talk to me. Okay, well, as you can see, I'm going to talk over him. Huh? This is the safe area, though. This will keep any buildings from uh, being destroyed in a storm. So, uh, yeah, we have a nice storm defense station there for our good stuff. This okay, 10 it's minutes of no one. power outages. Of Hopefully we can do that. All right, and let's see what happens. Yes, as I assumed, we were just having too much in the system. So let's see how much these things use. So, yeah, they were using 10 each. Uh, and we only had five power left in the system, so that's why we now have, uh, four unused power and 40 unused power. So we should have power dealt with for a long time. And we got a new viable genome, the Corythosaurus. So let's actually... I do like this guy. Um, I think he really needs packs, though, so he might get a little pissed off if we do try and incubate him. So I'm at a predicament. Do I wait for the Ceratosaurus for 550 grand? You know what, let's do one of these just to see how it reacts. You know, it's a new dinosaur, I'm excited about it, and uh, it shouldn't take long to incubate anyways. All right, and we got the Corythosaurus ready to release. So, oh, and look at that, a new and other viable genome, the Ankylosaurus. That means we're almost ready for the 60% genome. That's exciting. Let's release this guy, and I hope this wasn't a mistake, because we might have to make a few more of these guys to make him happy. But there we go, the Corythosaurus. Another new herbivore. We haven't been getting too many carnivores yet, but I actually do prefer the herbivores anyways myself, personally, so... There you go. Let out your yell, little buddy. Let out your yell. I think you're gonna be very mad, because this is definitely... Uh, yes, this as you can see. Knew it! Crap, I need at least one more. You really see chaos in action. Think of all the combinations and patterns that life tries out 
looking for that perfect structure. It's not about success. Life is about refining failure over and over and over again. Always a work in progress, ourselves included. Well, that got real, goddamn. Expedition has been complete. So yeah, he needs a social friend. So we're incubating that already and uh, hopefully we can deal with that. Um, what's our, okay, Ankylosaurus genome is only at 52%. This probably won't get us to the big 60 that we need to get to. So we're gonna go on one more expedition there. And then I need to get some other carnivore or something. I, I, I feel like I wanna get some of the smaller guys. Oh no, don't take their plan away from them. Oh my God, they look so defeated. Oh, they're so angry. Guys, guys, it's back. Come on, you're, you're, you're okay, bud. You're okay. Okay, he's going for a drink. All right, it's okay, little buddy. His comfort is slowly going down, as you can see. At least he's a patient individual. He probably won't start trying to break out until he gets into the red zone. So we should be okay, but he's very lonely right now. So I need to get him a friend. As much as I want to get a bunch of Triceratops, I need to make sure my dinosaurs are happy because that's the utmost importance. Once they're happy, they're not breaking out of their cages. Okay, it's ready to come out. Ooh, that is a textbook example I just accepted this quest. Uh, incubate a small herbivore. I didn't realize this guy would be considered small. So there we go. Looks like I just got the toy shop. So that's good. Let's release this Corythosaurus. So my other Corythosaurus is hopefully happy. And look at that. We're completing quests like crazy today. It feels pretty damn good. We got some more fossils to check out after this as well. I just want to make sure these guys meet each other and everything's all happy now. Well, he's walking by. So hopefully that means uh, he's seen him. So what, what do we got? Social is up on this guy. He should be at 100% comfort then. And hopefully, what is this guy thinking now? Okay, his social is up, and his comfort is back to 100%. So I addressed my issue, and now these guys, as you can see, are very happy together. <laughs> They're talking. Look at it. All right, you respond. There you go. Oh, my God. This is, uh, I love just watching the dinosaurs in this game because they do each have their own unique personalities. And uh, it's nice to see them talking to each other. All right, so they're happy. That's good. We're not going to have to worry about any breakouts anytime soon unless some crazy storm comes. And we almost got the Ankylosaurus done. One of my favorite dinosaurs. Let's. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to check our fossils. We should hopefully... Ugh, it's a... It's, damn it. It's a one quality. That might give us 2%, but it also might not. Usually it gives us 1% to 2%. So... Ah, oh, man, we depleted the site as well. So hopefully this thing, let's just see here if this actually does give us the 1% uh, that we need. It's going to take 15 more seconds. It's only at 0% right now. So we're we're going to need to get really lucky. There's the 1%. I need to get another 1% in 7 seconds. Are, are you going to leave me hanging at 59% game? Come on. Are you really? You're, you're, you're doing this. Wait. No, you're not. Nice okay, I lied. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not complaining anymore. Contract. All right, and we got a transmission? Did I unlock? Oh no, this is his major mission, okay. So he wants to do hazardous holdings. We need to get a lot of pretty crazy guys here. Did we unlock the Velociraptor? I guess we're gonna have to start doing that. Uh, I'm going to start that mission. It's gonna take a while to get to that one, but uh, obviously the main missions are most important. So I guess Velociraptor should be available, which is over here. Oh, it is. So being that this is a major quest, we're going to start working on that. Now we have two Velociraptor spawn zones, Chung Kingosaurus, Dilophosaurus, which is another one that we need, and uh, we got another Dilophosaurus down here too. So we should be able to make quick work of these because as long as there's only one dinosaur at these places, you can usually do them pretty damn quickly because you're only getting one type of fossil. So that's our next major goal, and I think we'll wrap it up here, guys. Uh, we did do a lot today, obviously. We moved to the second world. We addressed uh, the issues that started in this world, and we fixed them. And now we are profiting quite well. How are we actually doing? We're making 40000 per minute. Nothing too crazy, but we're well on our way to successes. And uh, we have another herbivore cage that is really happy. Next episode, obviously, we'll be working on this mission, so we'll see a lot of the new predators that we get to see. And the Ankylosaurus, of course, as well. So I'm really excited to see that guy. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. So thanks so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.